Hello, I'm Lauren Hayes and this is Kelkine's Daily Trending News. President Joe Biden is urging the US Trade Representative to triple tariffs on Chinese steel and aluminum imports. The announcement coincides with his visit to the United Steelworkers headquarters in Pittsburgh on Wednesday in a bid to highlight his commitment to protecting American industries and jobs. The decision to increase tariffs currently at an average of 7.5 per cent reflects Biden Biden's administration's firm stance against what they perceive as unfair trade practices by China. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen recently raised concerns about Chinese subsidies leading to an oversupply of clean energy products like solar panels and electric vehicles. The government believes that an oversupply, if left unchecked, could flood global markets with artificially cheap products posing a threat to fair competition. Chinese officials have denied these allegations, attributing their supply surplus to innovation rather than government subsidies. Despite this, the Biden administration remains steadfast in addressing what they view as a risk to American industries, particularly steel and aluminium. The move to increase tariffs is seen as a necessary step to prevent China from exporting its way out of economic challenges while disregarding international trade norms. The decision, though, presents a delicate balance for President Biden. On one hand, it demonstrates a tough stance on China, appealing to blue-collar workers' votes and addressing long-standing concerns about unfair trade practices. On the other hand, the White House is still working to fix relations with China after several years of trade tensions following former President Donald Trump's initial round of China tariffs, which almost triggered a trade war. Regardless, the administration is confident that the tariff hikes will not impact local inflation, arguing that the measures are essential to safeguard American jobs and the steel industry's future. Meanwhile, President Biden will also voice con- voice opposition to the proposed sale of U.S. steel to Japan's Nippon Steel, citing the importance of maintaining domestic ownership and operations. That's the latest from Kelkine's Daily Trending News.